Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews and this is the video I think a lot of people have been waiting for because I'm getting so many emails saying open the damn box so that's what I'm gonna do look I've got a trusty knife and I've got a box this is the box everyone has been wanting to see inside so let's get stuck in let's rip it open let's see what's in it now I know there's been speculation in some circles that the Hobby King turbine was nothing but vaporware this feels a bit heavy for vaporware I'm afraid so I suspect there really is a turbine in here. Let's have a close look and see what we can find. The box has already been opened by New Zealand Customs, so we won't find any drugs or prohibited materials. Here we go, certainly well packaged. With all that uh, thick, current, you know, multi wall cardboard, with lots of bubble wrap. I have to explain what I'm going to do with all this, I suppose. Let's just tip it up so you can see what I can see. Here we go, bubble wrap till Christmas. Now, this is not a production mod model. They've told me very clearly this is a, a prototype, so we won't expect too much polished stuff. What have we got? We've got a, um, a FADEC and a uh, control panel, or a ECU, depending on the terminology you want to use. This is the piece of electronics that controls the fuel pump and other aspects of the engine's operation. And this little terminal lets you see what's going on. We've got a bag of accessories. There's a fuel pump in here. There's a whole lot of tubing, some filters, Molex cables. So this is a lot of the accessories you need for a turbine engine. Good to see that they've thrown those in. And of course, when we get further down, we have a whole lot of foam and this. There we go, look at that. It's grubby, it's been used at Mmm, smells of turbine, smells of Jet A1, uh, but there it is, there is the little thing and this is very interesting isn't it, look at this, let me bring that up close to you, do you see that? I think some of you jet flyers will know what that means, um, yeah, what an interesting little bit of kit this is, it's obviously been run before and as you can see at the back she's been run at temperature, so I think the next step has got to be take this little motor, hook it up to my test stand, which usually is used for pulse jet engines, not for turbines, and uh, run it up, see how it works. Because I'm looking at this, it's probably, yeah, I have a plane in mind for this one. So what we'll do is we'll hook it up, we'll run it through the test process, and I'll show you how it runs, because I know that's what you want to see. We will put it on the test bench, fire it up, see how it runs. Look at the software on that. Uh, on the system here, the terminal system, just see how that works because uh, this is quite a major component. This is the bit you can feel, but this is quite important. The software on the ECU, how easy it is to set the motor up, change the characteristics and make sure it runs so reliably and it's easy to start. Take a good look at that. I'm sure, based on previous experience, that if we find any problems with this engine, Hobby King will be quite receptive to the feedback that they get and it will only serve to improve the product before it's launched. So there you go, it's not gonna be $199 you can guarantee that because you just can't make this stuff for those sort of prices. But if it's Hobby King, you can be pretty sure it's probably going to be a lot cheaper, or at least reasonably cheaper, than some of the other brand names that are in the market. The real test, of course, is how well is it made? How well does it run? How long will it last? I'll try and answer some of those questions in the very near future. Thank you for watching this video. Of course, comments on the bottom as usual. A thumbs up if you like it. it always helps. And you can always go to the rcmodelreviews.com website and discuss things like the new Hobby King Turbine on the forums there where you can have your say and other people can have theirs. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon, probably from the workshop when I show you more of the Hobby King Turbine.